right, well, we made it out to Saw Hill Ponds, and here is a map of what we're looking at. Like I had mentioned, there are 16 bodies of water just here in the Saw Hill Ponds area, but that doesn't even count the Walden Ponds, which are right over here to the far side. They are slightly out of the way, but they're also right here in the same area. I mean, I definitely, definitely don't think that we're gonna hit all these bodies of water today, but it's a really nice little place to come if you live up here in Boulder. We're just gonna explore a little bit, hopefully catch a fish or two, and see what happens, but let's get to it. Well, I figured this would be a great little spot to bust out the fly rod. I'm seeing a ton of bluegills, so I'm gonna try and get a little bit of practice in, because I think I'm gonna head up to the uh, Boulder Creek here shortly, so I'm just gonna try this fly rod out a little bit, get a little feel for it, and hopefully break the ice. bluegill too all right geez i was having some flashbacks to alaska right there i really don't know how to work the fly rod that well appreciation for the fly rod and that one choked it too beautiful little fish oh my god guys I literally just watched this bass come up and try to get this oh my god beefier one. Yeah. Yes siree. That makes it all worth it. Ooh, that's a nice little That is That is our nicest bluegill on the day right there. So it was worth walking all the way back here. I wasn't sure if it was going to be worth it. Getting a little bit tired, so. All right. 
right, well obviously I never made it out to Boulder Creek, but we're just getting some practice with the fly rod. And now that we've came down here, the fish are much bigger and they're much more aggressive. So the little hike out here was definitely worth it. Getting a little good practice with the fly rod. Appreciate you, buddy. That's back to back cast, which is much more aggression than the first pond. Three casts in a row. <laughs> I really would like to get a pumpkin seed. Said that there's pumpkin seeds in here, but I have not seen one today. So just gonna keep working through the bluegills, the sunnies. These things are getting it every time. Let's go. These bluegills are just getting it every single time now. The hike over here was well worth it. See, I'm gonna try and just straight up Jeremy weight it. Start stripping line. I mean, really, I'm getting all these fish just letting the fly fall, and I'm seeing them pick it up just like that. <laughs> Ooh, that's a better one. That's a better one. Good colors on him too. Really pretty colors. Thank you, buddy. And I mean, if I knew more about fly fishing, I could give you guys some more details on what kind of fly this is or the size, but I really have no idea, guys. So at the end of this video, I'll do my best to kind of figure out what I'm using and try to leave that in the link description. There we go. Let's see what he had it. Got him. He's fighting. Beautiful colors. Honestly, fly fishing is an extremely, extremely effective technique when you're bluegill fishing. I mean, whenever you go to a little pond or whatnot, you see a ton of these little bluegills just eating off the top. And typically, if you throw a fly in there, they will crush it. Man, lost a couple of the bigger ones. Had a couple other big ones on, but they popped off. Usually, it's like the bigger ones of the group eat first, just kind of like a wolf pack or something. It's like smallest of the group eat second. There you go. All 
All right, well, that's going to wrap up another great video for us down here on the channel. And as always, I hope some of you guys enjoyed and potentially check out the Sawhill Ponds. Uh, I just wanted to say that if you do go down there, please be sure to respect the fish and just the area. Um, please be sure to pack it in, pack it out. Um, I know before when I've uh, released a few locations, um, afterwards it just tends to get a bit dirty. And I just really don't want that to happen to this place. So please respect the land and respect our fish. But um, as always, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, please guys, I really appreciate all of your constant support. Um, I'd love to hear any feedback that you guys have in the comment section. And we'll be back with another great video real soon.